Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will give another example on numerical integration. See the statement of the given problem. Evaluate i is equal to here. The given integral is represented by capital I. We have to find out the value of I. So here given function is 1 by 1 plus x dx within the limit 0 to 1 using trapezoidal rule, Simpson's 1 third rule and Simpson's 3th rule. Also compare with actual value in each case. Okay. First of all, we should find out the given definite integral by using these three numerical integration formula. After that, we have to compare each value obtained the formula with the actual value. Okay. First of all, let us divide the given range 0, 1 into 6 equal parts. Let us divide the range. What is the mean by range? Limits of the given integral is known as range, which is 0, 1 into 6 equal parts. Why here I am dividing the range into 6 equal parts? If we divide the range into 6 equal parts, we can easily apply all formula at a time. No need to construct different data for given problem. Okay. Okay. See, 6 is an even number. That's why we can easily apply Simpson's 1 third rule. 6 is a multiple of 3. That's why we can able to apply Simpson's 3 eighth rule. And there is no restrictions to applying some tripsidal rule. Okay. So, the number of equal parts otherwise subintervals is represented by n. From this, find out the value of h, which is b minus a by n, which is equal to 1 minus 0 by 6. So, 1 by 6. You can take h is equal to 1 by 6. Now, we consider the following data. With the help of step size and the range, we can easily construct the data. So, x values and uh, respect to y values. So what is y given function? Given integrand function is 1 by 1 plus x. Okay. So, let us start the x values with the lower limit which is 0. And uh, every time you should add the interval difference h. 0 plus 1 by 6, 1 by 6. Again, add another 1 by 6, 2 by 6, 3 by 6. We have to continue the process till to get the upper limit. 4 by 6. 5 by 6. Here don't reduce the x values into decimal places. 6 by 6 which is 1. Okay. See. Now I will find out the all functioning values at a time by using table option in the calculator. See in our calculator. See. Operate mode. Here we have the table in the seventh point so take seven what is f of x here one by one plus x that's why take this symbol one division one plus x for x you should operate alpha and the closed bracket you will get x here okay is equal to what is the starting of the given data zero is equal to what is the ending of the given data upper limit which is one is equal to what is the step size 1 by 6 you should take 1 by 6 Sorry. 1 division 6 so directly you will get x values here okay so don't look at the x values here here in the calculator x values is given in decimal places but don't write these values in decimal places for x okay at x is equal to 0 respect to functioning values 1 1 by 1 plus 0, that's why we will get 1. Next one is 0 0.8571. Next one is 0 0.75. Scroll down, you will get the next values. 0 0.6666. Next one is 0 0.6. Next one is 0 0.5454 and last one is 1.2 last one is 0 0.5 okay this is division symbol 1 by 2 okay
now we have to put the names for y values so this is x0 that's why respective value is y0 you can take this is x1 that's why this is y1 in the similar way y2 y3 y4 y5 and y6 please put the names for respective y values don't forget it now we are going to apply trapezoidal rule according to the trapezoidal rule what is the formula for definite integral integral a to b f of x into dx is equal to h by 2 whole into sum of first and last ordinates which are y0 plus y6 plus 2 into sum of remaining all ordinates between them y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4 plus y5 okay replace these all values you will get the value of the given definite integral so i is equal to a to b is nothing but 0 to 1 given function is nothing but 1 by 1 plus x dx is equal to what is h 1 by 6 1 by 6 by 2 it is nothing but 1 by 1 sum of first and last so 1 plus 0 0.5 plus 2 into y1 is nothing but 0 point look at the table 0 0.8571 plus 0 0.75 plus 0 0.6666 sorry don't close the brackets next one is y4 which is 0 0.6 Next one is 0 0.5454. Now we have to calculate this one by using scientific calculator. See. See. Take this symbol. 1 division 12. Open double brackets. 1 plus 0 0.5. Plus 2 times of 0 0.8571. Plus 0 0.75 plus 0 0.6666 plus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.5454 close double brackets so I got 0 0.69485 which is approximately equal to 0 0.69 since it is 5 I will write 6949 okay write in the bracket approximately Okay, 6948 is also no problem. Now we have to evaluate this definite integral by using Simpson's one third rule. See the statement of the Simpson's one third rule. According to the Simpson's one third rule, integral a to b f of x dx is equal to h by 3 whole into sum of first and last ordinates which are y0 plus y6 plus 2 into sum of even ordinates between y0 and y6 which are y2 plus y4 only plus 4 into remaining all ordinates which are y1 plus y3 plus y5 okay replace the all values a to b are nothing but 0 to 1 f of x is nothing but given function 1 by 1 plus x dx h is nothing but 1 by 6 already in the division we have 3 so 1 by 6 by 3 can be written as 1 by 18 all into sum of first and last see the table values here These are the table values 1 and 0 0.5 directly I wrote as 1.5 plus 2 into y2 plus y4 y2 is nothing but 0 0.75 plus y4 is nothing but 0 0.6 plus 4 into you should replace the values carefully okay y1 0 0.8571 plus y3 0 0.6666 plus y5 0 0.5454 now we have to calculate this one by using scientific calculator see here take this symbol 1 by 18 whole into 1.5 plus 2 times of 0 0.75 plus 0 0.6 plus sorry close the bracket here plus 4 times of 0 0.8571 plus 0 0.6666 plus 0 0.5454 close the bracket well, I got 0 0.6931 okay 
this is the value of the given definite integral by using Simpson's one third rule. Now we have to find out the given definite integral by using Simpson's three eighth rule. See, exciting Simpson's three eighth rule. According to this Simpson's three eighth rule, what is the formula to given definite integral? Integral a to b f of x dx is equal to three h by eight whole into sum of first and last y naught plus y six plus two into sum of multiple of three ordinates, which is only y three between y naught and y six plus three into remaining all terms y one plus y two plus y4 plus y5 so far these terms are never came here that's why replace these all values here a to b are nothing but integral 0 to 1 what is f of x given function 1 by 1 plus x dx plus 3 into h what is h value 1 by 6 so 3 into 1 by 6 by 8. So this 3 getting 2 times 1 by 2 by 8 is nothing but 1 by 16. Directly I, I will write 1 by 16. Why not plus 5 6? Directly I will write again 1.5 plus 2 into y3. Please look at the data. I will show you. So here y3 is nothing but 0 0.6666. plus 3 times of y1. What is y1? 0 0.8571 plus y2 0 0.75 plus y4 0 0.6 plus finally y5 0 0.5454 close the bracket we have to calculate this one by using calculator again. So take this symbol 1 division 16. Sorry. Open the bracket. 1.5 is the sum of first and last ordinates plus 2 times of 0 0.6 double 6. Close the bracket. Plus 3 times of 0 0.8571 plus 0 0.75 plus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.5454 close the brackets I got sorry 0 0.6931 okay so I got same answer from both one third rule and three eighth rule see here now we have to compare each value with the original value. So actual value of given integration i is i is equal to integral 0 to 1 1 by 1 plus x dx. So we know that the formula for integral 1 by 1 plus x is log of 1 plus x to the base e because we have the formula integral f dash of x by f of x dx is equal to log mod denominator whose base is e. Okay, according to this formula, I wrote this one. Within the limits, integral 0 to 1. By applying upper limit, you will get log of 1 plus 1, which is 2 to the base e minus log 1 to the base e, which is log 2 to the base e because log 1 is 0. Log 1 is 0. That's why Again by using calculator, see what is ln2, I got 0 0.6931, so we should find out the errors in each numerical integration formula, so error in trapezoidal rule, error in trapezoidal rule is equal to original value. What is the original value? This is the original value. 0 0.6931 minus the value which is obtained from trapezoidal rule. See here, I got 0 
सिक्स नाइन फोर वाई सो जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स नाइन थ्री वन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स नाइन फोर नाइन विच इज नेगेटिव जीरो पॉइंट डबल जीरो वन एट दिस इज द एरर इन द प्रेपाइडिंग रूल बाय कंपेरिंग मीन्स यू शुड फाइंड आउट द एरर इन ईच फार्मूला वी आर ऑब्जर्विंग दैट देर इज नो एरर इन ट्रेपाइड सिमसंस वन थर्ड रूल एंड थ्री एथ रूल बिकॉज original value is also 0.6931 value obtained from simpson's one third rule is also same value obtained from simpson's 3 eighth rule also same value 0.6931 so you should write that there is no error in simpson's one third rule and simpson's 3 eighth rule otherwise you can write that error in simpson's one third rule is equal to 0 so error in the simpson's 3 eighth rule is 0 sometimes you you didn't get error in simpson's one third rule and 3 eighth rule in some problems depending upon the problem you may get very small error in this both rules okay in the next video i will give some more problems on this one thank you very much